Hi, I'm Jason, and I don't like creamy things. It's the age-old question, how short is too short and how long is too long when it comes to shorts? Joining us with the answer to that very important question is our dear friend, the fashion diva, the fashion icon of the Mall of America, our forever <laughs> friend, Sarah Rogers. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Jason. How are you? <laughs> I'm well. It's so great to see you. It's so good to see you. Okay, let's get started because I want to get through all these because... Shorts are one of those things that I really do think the styles do change more than other types of clothes. Am I right on that, Sarah? Well, there's no shortage of short shorts back in our day. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> back in our day, we called them Daisy Dukes. Yes. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of ladies call them panty shorts because they're short short. You've heard the phrase, uh, sun's out, bun's out. Yeah. But this season, there is a spotlight on Bermuda shorts, which means they're hovering right around the knee. Perfect. And I've got a few there with you. We're going to start with denim, right, Sarah? Yes. Yes, yes. We love our denim. It's the backbone of most casual wardrobes. Uh, I went over to the buckle store and I found a great pair of denim Bermuda shorts. Uh, they're by Can Can and they're the curvy fit. Curvy meaning K U R V Y. Uh, what I like about these, if you're a girl like myself, that's either fuller in the hips or fuller in the thighs, I'm a little fuller in the thighs, but have a smaller waist, this is a great brand for you to consider. Uh, because they are fitted, I went with a little flowier top, uh, that beautiful floral print top also from the buckle. And then keep in mind, if you like to make your bottom half look a little thinner, the darker the wash of your denim, the more slimming they'll be. I love, Sarah, I love that. Well, first of all, you could wear a garbage bag and be beautiful, but that that top on you is so pretty. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Thank where's you. that Where's that top from? Do you remember? That's from the buckle as well. Okay, that's a real. Uh, women are going to want that top. Let's go to sweat. Yes. Let's go to sweat shorts. Yes. Well, we've been living in our sweatpants, so the next step is to go to our sweat shorts. But Jason, I've got a little surprise for you. I crossed the aisle to get these sweat shorts. I do this personally. I bought these in the men's department at H and M. Yeah. I. Yes, I love them because, you know, for a while it was hard to find shorts that were hovering around the knee. Uh, you know, I don't wear my shorts short anymore. I like them, you know, around this lane. And the men's shorts tend to be longer. And because they're sweat shorts, they usually have that little drawstring, which allows you to kind of customize it to fit your waist. You might even be able to go down a size, just kind of play with it. But I love the olive green color. I put it with this gray tank that I found at Aritzia. That fun bag with that stripe uh, strap on that is from Ever E. That's a great travel bag because it uh, is convertible. The straps can, you know, go in a, a few different ways. So I love that. A little baseball cap and some sandals from Aldo. You're out the door, fun, casual, and feeling good. I like the strap. You're right. I'm glad you put the strap on that bag is really good. Yes, I think yeah. it can really add a little punch to yep. your outfit. Uh, next, black and white shorts. Yes, prints. A lot of ladies like prints. Keep in mind, sometimes prints can camouflage more than a solid. So if that's something uh, that you want to consider, and I'm seeing matched sets as a, a really big trend this season. And this is from White House Black Market. Although I have to tell you that I goofed on this, uh, Jason. This top is reversible. So oh. it reverses and looks just like the exact same pattern as the shorts. I'm wearing it on the other side. Uh, so that you really get two tops for one, basically, with that. Great sandals also from White House Black Market and just a little shirt jacket over it, just because if you're wearing something fitted and you want a little bit of, you know, smoke and mirrors, That's you know, right. something a little oversized with something slim generally tends to work well. Dress shorts, finally. Yes, you can dress your shorts up. I headed over to the Aritzia store and I found this beautiful pair of ivory white shorts. I added a blazer, so consider doing that. Uh, and you can wear it with sneakers. I often wear my sneakers, uh, you know, like my Converse, I love those. Uh, but also you can step it up with a great pair of sandals. Aldo has some great sandals also in that ivory color uh, that are done with that little clear strap. And that's a big trend too, Jason. Selfishly, we have about 30 seconds. I want to ask for the dudes in the audience because this for us changes every year. What is the hot yes. length for men's shorts, Sarah? Well, I, it, it'll come down to fit mid thigh, yeah. 
I think is always kind of a safe bet. Mid thigh, okay. I can yes. do. I can do that. So yes. I, I'll Flattery. get rid. I'll get rid of my Daisy Dukes for this season. Then I'll get rid of those. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Have a great holiday weekend, sweetie. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too. For all these looks, you can find them at the Mall of America and uh, follow them on Instagram. We're going to take a break. We'll wrap things up for this week right after this.